destroying him there. I don't know. But regardless, we're going to Winners Finals. Kirby versus Mewtwo. Welcome to New York City. Manhattan especially. Yeah. We got the wackiest of characters here where people lose the Little Max and yeah, yeah. Wii Fits and Kirby's. That, that, that's, that's, that's the area we're at right now. So yes. right off the bat, we're seeing the Kill Sage just kind of going for some down tilts because Kirby is a small little creature, man. Yep. Um, I think the smart move for Sage in this matchup is to just play this matchup at the max range possible. Because mm -hmm. Mewtwo can play that range a lot more efficiently than Kirby can, especially because look at how small he is. Yeah, and he doesn't have long limbs. No, he doesn't. And, and what Kill Sage Mewtwo has is a long tail. Yeah. And the thing is, that's Kirby's one weakness when you're playing like any character, like a sword character, whatever, is down tilt. Yeah. Because he tries to use uh, Kirby's, Mike Kirby especially. <gasps> wow, eat that. Eat that, dude. Eat that. Okay, so uh, Mewtwo's weakness, right? Uh, not Mewtwo's weakness, Kirby's weakness is that like he can't duck the, the detail moves or whatever. He's, he's, he's so small. Mike Kirby's going to rely on ducking grabs, on ducking uh, attacks, forward tilts, if you're like a sword user for tall, what have you. And now we got ourselves a DBZ battle. Okay, it's over. Sage tried to Yo. read it. And put out confusion yeah. like a scrub. Yeah, Sage, yeah, Sage got a little ahead of himself, decided to shoot the thing. Once again, we're seeing a lot of neutral errors coming from the kill Sage, yeah. just trying to get through Mike Kirby's defenses. Yeah. That's just a really good move. And another problem that Kirby has in this matchup specifically that kind of gives Kirby struggles against really anyone that he loses to, if you can out-camp Kirby, you're going to do well against Kirby. Exactly, and right now, the kill stage is doing a pretty good job of just staying safe as he just walks up closely, staying at that detail range. He got a little over, he overextended just a little bit with that dash attack, and Mike Kirby immediately picked up on it because that's Mike Kirby's play style, dude. He's gonna wait for you to get into his zone where he wants you, but Sage is keeping him at bay. Yeah, Mike's patience is incredible, to say the least. Yeah, Mike can't do anything though. Like he's just trying to get in there. There he goes. He's throwing his down tilt. Himself. They're having a down tilt war. Wow. You ever realize how funny Mewtwo's face is when he gets hit? Like ever? His uh, his pupils just. <laughs> and speaking of getting hit, this man just got <laughs> up smashed to the heavens and beyond. Yeah. He's coming right back. He immediately spawns and does a down tilt, trying to get something going against Mike Kirby mid air, but Mike Kirby just kind of jumps out of it. Yeah. Once again, they're just kind of staring each other down. He's just going to do a point blank, uh, you know, shadow ball. But it did kind of hurt Mike Kirby's shield. That shield health looking mad weak. But, you know, in Smash 4, your shield health comes back like that. Yeah. And I'm not sure how solid Kirby's combo game on Mewtwo is. But I feel like Sage should kind of just play it safe and keep his distance, you know? That's you what he's really been doing. You don't have to be going for those down tilts right now. But I mean, down tilt's shadow safe. balls are really solid. It's down safe, but safe he has he gotten punished. Yeah, I mean, but that's because he overextended a little bit. But now we see Mike Kirby getting hit by the Kill Sage. He's sitting at one, a dangerous 104%. The Kill Sage looking for a kill. It's okay, he's just gonna shoot out some Shadow Balls. Nice use of down tilt, baiting out the ducking animation with a mini Shadow Ball. Mike Kirby just trying to give some sort of stage control, but Sage is not letting him have it. And Very that forward nice. air, yep. the fair. Of that move, that move hits so hard. It's so good. It's hit hard since melee. It's really strong, and when you get a, hit by a forward error from like the king of the Pokemans, yeah. let's watch that again. He's just kind of baiting it out. Mike Kirby ducks that second sh shot of ball and tries to approach afterwards, not expecting a detail from the kill stage, and it led into his death with the forward error of the ultimate life form. Yep. Number 150. Mewtwo. I see a butt face. That's you, man. So now we're going to me first. Meme Hopefully verse. help her unplug the internet this time so we're not getting distracted by memes in the background. And no, we hey! did not. Now it's going to be a meme fest. All right, and so uh, we're going to get banned off of Twitch again if we get some naked pictures like we did last time. Uh, good stuff, you know. Mewtwo. <laughs> Just... <laughs> All right, this That's is Osti La Vista. This is Osti signing out. Uh, I'll come back after the game's over later. Oh. All right, so I'm here alone with this man sitting next to me, quite peacefully. All right, very nice pressure being applied by Sage here. Fight me. <laughs> it's, 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 I just You're can't. I, I, try so, I try so hard to commentate this, but it's just so distracting. I have... <sighs> He's just spamming. All right, so... <laughs> Serve it up the Gary. Now we see the kill stage serving it up the Gary's way yep. with the shadow ball action, trying to get some more down tilts into forward airs. Yep. Almost uh, considered a kill confirm, as we saw in that last, uh, the end of game one. 
See him sparing. It's literally all stages game plan. Yeah. It's shadow ball and down tilt, and it's working. Yeah. It's very smart, especially because as they're kind of playing footsies, Shadow Ball, having a fully charged Shadow Ball just adds that much of a threat to mm -hmm. Sage's presence. Now, see, so once again, he's charging the Shadow Ball in the center stage, waiting for Mike Kirby to approach. I like the uh, little momentum he's got going there. But now Mike Kirby has a little bit of stage control, waiting for him to land on the ground, and he does. Oh, they're, they're, they're rolling a lot here. Mike Kirby trying to get a back air. Wow. But to kill wow. Sage, jumps into the middle of the stage with a down air answer of his own. Just did it. Okay, so. He just done did it, dude. Yeah. He done did it. He did, he did a little pally whack down air, and that was all she wrote. One thing I want to see a little bit more from, um, from Sage is teleport canceling when you're landing, especially versus a Kirby who can't really challenge your tail. If you can teleport cancel and then stick out an up air to stop him from approaching you from above, it's a really good plan on landing and then it puts him in a really bad position. So. But you know what? He just keeps rolling and down tilting. Yeah. It just seems to be what's working. It's working really well. It's holding so, a really so, so I don't know, man. I, I just don't know. We see him once again. He's just using a lot of tilts from to kill Sage. It was showing his expertise with the uh, Mewtwo. Yeah. Usually, like pl playing Sheik and Fox, but you know, sometimes I, I, he's known to throw out his Mewtwo in certain matchups, such as against Kirby. Uh, wow, Mike getting a little bit aggressive there, trying to find a grab. To kill Sage, keeping him out. Some up air action. Very wow, he nice. challenged that. Yep. And that's gonna be the set. That was smart as hell. Very nice on Sage. To kill Sage, bringing it back that second game. Go is gonna wait in grand finals for whoever our champion shall be tonight.